Hello, my friends. Welcome aboard. It's another cold evening in February, but it's a great opportunity to share some knowledge about shooting, some of my observations that I've made over the years. For instance, this evening we're going to talk a fair bit about the long draw. What are the advantages of the long draw? Uh, why I do the long draw? And what is the long draw? Uh, well, the long draw is the long draw. Basically, I find that you need to reach out. It's like a draw check. My upper body is an automatic draw check as long as I can relax in the same position every time. Basically, if I reach out, that doesn't vary. If you don't reach out and you keep your elbow bent like so many times you're told, the distance will vary. So reach out. Also, hold your bow like Howard Hill said. You know, hold it just like, like it was a suitcase. Because all these people that are leaving their hand over, you know, it's a neat idea, right? Oh, when I let go, the bow jumps forward. Well, it doesn't. We just think it does because we're told it does. But if you tie strings around your hand and you leave your hand open, for one thing, every time you leave your hand open, your bow wants to go backwards. See how it goes backwards? Right? That's not stability. So that's one thing. But also, I leave my hand open and watch my bow. Most people I observe that do this grab the bow. They don't leave their hand open. They grab the bow every time. So they think they've got their hand open, but watch what happens to the bow. Don't you see it jerking a little bit? That's movement. That's not hitting the target. Leave your hand closed so that the bow just stays there. That will be a big help. So that's part of the long draw, you know. Also, I find if I've reached out and I'm holding my bow, when I come back, and I, tonight you're going to see that I'm not drawing to an anchor. I'm drawing towards my eye, but not to an anchor. There's no anchor here this evening, okay? No anchor. Just the eye anchor. I'll explain it. The eye anchor. It's a real anchor. You don't have to touch your face. Anyhow... When I've reached out so that that's a, a, a consistent distance and I draw back and I relax, you're going to see my shoulder wiggle a little bit. That's because as the muscles relax, the pressure goes bone on bone. And as it goes bone on bone, you will see it all settle in. That means my arm is relaxed. And it's the same distance. I don't have to have a checker. If that's the same distance, and this always comes back till it relaxes, it will just flop into place. Okay? So, that's another thing that's really important. Uh, reach out, draw against the hand, you know? Don't grip it. Um, what else can I think about? Also, before we start, uh, I want you to realize that every time you start to draw that bow, that that arrow will pull off to the side a little bit. So as soon as you start to draw, you'll see it pulls to the side. Once it does that, simply put the tip back on and now draw straight towards your eye. Not trying to touch any spot on your face, draw straight towards your eye. So it happens immediately, right? Pull, it goes off, put it back on. Now draw straight towards your eye. When you get it, all the way back. Now you just relax. And you can feel the pressure. Now you get your eye down and look along. So you do not, even though you're drawing to your eye, you're not drawing to a special spot on your face towards your eye. You're just drawing towards your eye. You're going to let everything just hang. And then you're going to get down and look along. Just like if you were shooting a cannon, you wouldn't put your face down on the cannon to shoot it. You'd get your eye behind the cannon and you'd line it up and shoot it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to draw, relax, then aim. It's a 
definite difference. And we're not going to put the eye down. We're simply going to look, or we're not putting the face down on the hand. We're simply going to look without touching anything because only by doing that can I see that that arrow is straight towards the target. All this touching and moving your elbow and canting and twisting and torquing is how you miss. Look at that target, let it pull off, get it back, keep coming back so that you know it's all straight, let everything hang straight, then get your eye down and make sure it's pointing at the target and you'll start to get some good hits. <laughs> A lot of talking, hardly any shooting. But it's important, you know, to explain this stuff to you because who tells you this stuff except me? Hmm? I'll be back in a minute. We'll do some shooting. Okay. Okay, my friends. So let's take a couple of shots here and just describe uh, what we're talking about in the long draw. Again, I'm going to reach out, take my little back step, get everything all lined up. I'm going to start to pull, and then I'm going to put the tip back on because it will pull off. Once it pulls off, I'm going to start just bringing it back. I'm going to let everything relax, and then I'm going to get down and look along the arrow and get bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Anyhow, this is what we do. So you look at the target with your weak eye, okay? You take your back step. Now, see when I do that? See how it pulls off? Can you see how, as soon as I pull, see how the bow goes off automatically? No, I just put it back on. That's what I'm talking about. It's important to do, because once you do that, the tip is lined up, and it just keeps coming straight back to the face. Okay, now see, I just relax everything, and now I get my eye down, and I start looking. Bang. Okay, so this is how we do it. Now, I'm finding that this is about the most accurate way I've ever seen of shooting, in all honesty. No ink or just getting down and looking, but, you know, I'll just show you, <laughs> just for a laugh. But, you know, this is the first shot. First shot of the day. And I got my gap, you know, I did look at the gap. You see that? It's very accurate. Also, to tell you the truth, my arrow is right down there at the top of that little piggy for the gap, believe it or not. And I hit the, the yellow dot. Anyhow, we'll be back in a minute, boys. Okay, my friends, so a big part of the this type of a draw, a big part of it is being able to relax. And we're pointing at the target and completely relaxed before we aim, before we need to put our head down. I think you'll be able to see my right shoulder. It's a very big deal. When my arm relaxes, you'll see my shoulder wiggle a little bit. I call it wiggle. And disregard words like wiggle, you know? Don't look down at, oh, he said wiggle. <laughs> It moves because the muscles have relaxed and the bones are coming together. It's a big deal, whether it's a wiggle or not. But, uh, you know, take that back step, get that weak eye on, pull it off, see? Come straight back, relax. Now when I'm all relaxed, now I'm going to get down and I'm going to carefully look for my gap. It was in the red that time, but red is good especially when you're talking and shooting, <laughs> you know. Anyhow, that's the steps, okay? Eye on, back step, pull it off, get it coming straight back, get it all relaxed, now get down and look. Bang, good. This is very straight, very straight, and uh, if you practice it, uh, without talking and stuff like that, you'll find it's amazing. But it's all about getting all relaxed and letting your body point where it wants to point. Now you simply look and see where it's pointing. You're not anchoring and then twisting and turning and manipulating everything into position. That's how you miss. You cannot torque. You cannot twist. 
you know, weak eye on, my little back step, hand open, got my bow. Pull it off, put it on. Relax completely, now get down and see where it's pointing. Bang! <laughs> Anyhow, let's just take a couple shots. But do you get the idea? You've got to let the upper body be completely relaxed and allow it to point where it's pointing. That's when you aim. Yes, we're drawing towards the eye to keep it straight, but we're not drawing to an anchor point by moving our head around over our eye. It's just coming back, you know? And don't forget the catch a little bit, you know, keep that pressure on, feel the pressure build up in these fingers. It's the pressure from the push that opens this hand. This hand does not open. This hand opens this hand. <laughs> okay. Mmm, that was a sweetie. Oh, a lot of ammo. Anyhow, I'm talking and shooting and talking and shooting, but uh, I hope that some of this stuff is rubbing off into your brain, you know, because it all adds up to really, really good hits. Yeah, we're a little unorthodox, and we're doing just fine. <laughs> Back in a minute, boys. Okay, guys, uh, let's do a little more shooting and talking. You know, one of the things that I kind of enjoy about about having the, the website or some guys, you know, you get to know guys after a while for uh, Luca or Tom, Ray, Jono. Uh, these guys, they, they watch the movies uh, and you hear from them regularly. And it, it's just nice, you know. And uh, so anyhow, I think it's pretty good. Just relax and then get down. Sweet. Hayden. Different guys. But uh, it's sort of like a little electronic archery club <laughs> or something like that. Yeah, so there's no special anchor on the face. And again, I'm finding it to be about the most accurate I've ever been able to shoot. You really have to feel that weight increase in those fingers. That's how you get to control it. You know, so we're not pulling, we're pressing. That's the main part that we're doing. Hmm. Very, very straight. You know, archery is like a, a never ending process. Beauty. Yeah, you know, it's like a that's what it is. It's always developing, always developing. For instance, the way that I'm shooting tonight is only because I started shooting this bow uh, a couple months ago, and I tried shooting it vertical, I tried shooting it can't hit, I put on silencers, I changed my knocking point, uh, I started to develop a, a technique of anchoring at different spots, and then I started moving my anchor up. So it's been like step by step by step, I changed my arrows a little bit, I sh shortened them a little bit, which I didn't have to do. but. Uh, but I've allowed the bow to teach me how to shoot it. I've simply observed what it would do and changed my form accordingly. And it's working out pretty good. It's a great little bow. Um, just a great little bow. Don't have to wear an arm guard. <laughs> Back in a minute. Okay, guys, I've moved the camera up so that I'm hoping that you can see my shoulder. 
The relaxation of this shoulder is extremely important. It, it, the hit depends on it, really. So I want you to be able to see uh, if my shoulder does a little bit of a movement, a little wiggle, or a little settling in as the muscles relax and the bones go against bone. Anyhow, from up here, I, you might be able to see it. Now, I'm going to be drawing, relaxing. You should see a little wiggle. That's when I'm going to put my head down. So I'm not aligning or aiming until after my body is completely settled in. Okay? Anyhow, let's see if you can see it. You see, did you see that now? Now I'm going to take a look, and off she goes. Nice. But it's extremely important to get bone-on-bone -bone contact. Okay. So let's see if you can see it. There, it relaxed. Okay. Now I look along the arrow, and I'm not really anchoring. Bango, wango, tango. Very important, these little things are very important. Relax that shoulder, let everything hang from it. Beautiful. You see that, Jono? <laughs> That's good. Really, really something. This is a very good technique, guys. Very good technique. You know, what the hell. Really, you can talk, blab away, and, uh, you know, you can get your hits, you know, no problem, no problem whatsoever. No anchor, just the eye looking along the arrow. Long draw, back in a minute. Okay guys, so, something that I find that's uh, an absolute must is, is gapping, point of aim, putting the tip of the arrow where it should be predetermined or predetermined before you shoot and uh, it's much better than instinctive much better you see if you shoot instinctively you will almost invariably shoot high it's because you just sort of if you're anchoring down here, you know, the arrow is on a little bit of an angle. You'll just automatically aim along and uh, and shoot high. You, you really need to learn to predetermine, you know. I know that my tip should be there, so I, I, I can just put it there. Dead center. That's how it works. It makes sense, doesn't it? You know, there's a left and right and there's an up and down. If you don't know where your tip is on the elevation, how are you going to get elevation? Learn to gap. Call it what you want. If you don't like the word gap, call it something else. Beautiful, beautiful, cute, right dead center. It's amazing how how easy it has become. <laughs> it's never really easy, but every time you discover something that works a little better, the improvement will be immediate. You, you'll just notice in, in a, a day or so that you're really whacking it good. And that's what's going on here.
deadly friendly. Man, oh man. Yeah, this is a good technique, guys. Good technique. No anchor. Just drawing it out, relaxing, letting it point wherever it wants to point, then getting the eye down and make sure it's pointing at the target. <laughs> awful good uh, okay guys that's about it for the night so listen it's a long draw reach out full extension that way your arm doesn't vary come back all the way relax wherever it does it will do that every time so that's very consistent once you get it all relaxed and hanging that's the true direction it's going to go second step Get down and look along that arrow. Make sure that it's pointing at that target. Anyhow, uh, you guys have fun. Hope you had a good night. And uh, we all survived this COVID thing. Okay, boys. Take care.